One of the crazy things that can happen to a UI UX designer is for you to go over the shoulder to design your concept, your website in Figma, and then you show your client and then you need to start reworking this in WordPress. You need to start designing all over again what you have already spent days, weeks, or months designing in Figma design. And that's where my tutorial comes in today because I want to show you a super simple, easy way for you to convert your Figma designs to a WordPress theme. Literally, a theme you would pick you is call any WordPress website and you can import your Figma designs into that WordPress. It's as simple as that. If this excites you and this is something you would like to see how to get done, then let's jump straight into this tutorial. Right on my screen here is just a plain Figma project. And I just want us to even see how we can easily just bring any random website into our Figma designs. And that's why I don't have any design here in Figma already. So for the purpose of this example, I just want us to use maybe WordPress.org for an example. We want to easily take out this website into our Figma designs and then we convert this same website into a WordPress thing. So let's see how we can do that. Uh, so right now we can come back to a Figma design. And we need the help of a plugin called HTML to design. So if you come here, you can come to your plugins. And I have HTML to design here. So in case you don't have that plugin, you can go to manage plugins and then you can search for HTML to design. And then I'll come back to my WordPress website here. I'll copy this URL. So you can use any website, it's not compulsory. I'm just only using WordPress.org for example, just for the sake of this tutorial. And before I continue, and this is me making a disclaimer that I'm not encouraging you to clone WordPress.org or any website online. I'm only doing this video for tutorial, for educational purposes alone. I just want to show you what's possible and I need you to trade carefully. So now let's come back to Figma Designs and then I will paste my URL here. HTML to design is a fantastic plugin. It helps us literally clone any website into our Figma designs. And down here, if you come down, is another section here, which is very, very important because we have the option to clone different viewpoints, different breakpoints per website. That's if you want this to be highly responsive. And I know you want to have a highly responsive WordPress website, right? So right now we have option here for a desktop version to a laptop version. So a tablet, a tablet, and a mobile version. So let's just work with maybe a laptop and also a desktop version. In your case, you might tick all of them. And if you use the pro version of this plugin, uh, you'll be able to put custom uh, breakpoints. So I might want to change my mobile breakpoint from 380 here to 400 pixel, depending on me, depending on my design on how I want to structure things. So this makes this plugin quite very, very useful for UI UX designer because it gives you that flexibility for you to choose your breakpoints. That's very, very important. Another thing again you want to note here is the options we have. Uh, by default here, we can see that we can make this auto layout and that's very, very important if you want to migrate your Figma designs to WordPress or to whatever other uh, platform you want to use. Again, here we have hyperlinks and it is ticked here. So it means that every link on this page you want to clone will be brought into a Figma design. That's very, very good. So we can just close this. And what we want to do right now is just to hit the import button and we will let this plugin do its match. Okay, good stuff here. So we have this done and we can see here that uh, suggestions to improve your page looks. So we have nine images here that can be in higher resolution. So we want to do that both for the tablet view and also for the mobile view. So let's just click this. So this will put the higher resolution image and that's very, very good. So let's do that for the second one as well. And that's it. That's done. Let's hit the OK button and we are done uh, with this. Uh, let's uh, see what we have here. I think I have to close this. So let's uh, come here and let's zoom to fit. So you can see this is WordPress.org here. This is the laptop view and this is the mobile view. Isn't this amazing? So we can just zoom in to see exactly what we have. Fantastic, fantastic stuff. Uh, so <laughs> With a clickable button, we have just a website clone to Figma Designs. We are still going further to convert this into a WordPress thing. So what I want us to do right now is to add an additional page to this uh, just for tutorial purposes alone. 
So right now we can come to page one here. So let's rename this from page one. Let's call this home page. Let's just call it home. Right. So let's add another page and let's call this the about page. So let's come back to uh, WordPress.org and let's come to about about WordPress. And let's just use this page again for demonstration purpose, right? Uh, so this is the about page here. So now let's copy this to as well. So I'll copy this URL. And then I can come back to my Figma. As usual, I will do the same thing. I'll come to my plugins. I'll come to HTML design. So I'll paste that URL here. And then I will hit the import button. So as usual, let's just wait for this plugin to do its match. Good. So we have this done now, and then I can just close this. So as usual, let's zoom this to fit. So you can see we have uh, the about page here. This is the laptop view, and this is the mobile view. This is super, super cool. So let's zoom in to see exactly what we have. Isn't this amazing? Super simple and easy, right? So right now, the next thing we want to do now is to see how we can convert this to a WordPress thing. And we use the help of another plugin to get that done. So let's come back to our plugins. And let's come to Figma to WordPress. But in your own case, you can just come to manage plugins and you can just search for Yotaku or Figma to WordPress. So if you search for Yotaku, you find this plugin here. The first plugin here is Figma to WordPress. You can just launch this plugin and you can run this plugin. The first step to start is to put an email address here. So I will do that right now. And then I'll hit the start now button. And the next step here is for us to get our Figma URL. So right now, for us to get our Figma URL, we can just come to share. And before we get our URL, what we want to do here is to come here and make sure that anyone with this link can access our project, which is very, very important. I will come up here and hit this copy link. I can see link has been copied and then I can close this. I can come back here and then I can paste the URL here and then I can hit create your website. So the next step here is frame selection. So it says select frame as main page. I would want our home page to be a main page, right? So let's come back to home and we can shift this so that we are able to see what we have. So we have our own here. So I can just click this uh, frame here. So I can add this now as my main page the next thing we want to do here again before we continue is for us to add a mobile version as another screen size and then we can just come here and then click this and then add screen size so you can see now we now have both url here so you can see this is the laptop or uh, this is the web view and this is the mobile view and that's quite fantastic right so now let's come back to the about page. So the next thing we want to do now is to add this about page here. So I think we should just drag this somewhere here. Let's select this frame here. And then we can add another page. And now we have the option to select what type of page this is. Is this a post page like a blog or this is a normal page? But this is a normal page, so I'll select this. And we need to also select this frame as well to be able to add this as another screen another screen size which is not the mobile version so you can see we are able to add the two versions for the two pages i think this is amazing so that's everything we want to do in your case you might have several breakpoints from mobile to tablet whatever it is you might have as many as many pages as three four five you want to go through this process to add everything up into your tackle and once you are done doing that, you want to, and let me leave this up and then hit the continue button. So you can see here, running our AI models, this may take some few seconds or some few minutes to analyze your design to see exactly what to do with it. So we want to give this some time to finish up. So right now, as you can see on the screen here, Yotaku is uploading images, it's building a website. So it has gone from the stage of analyzing now to building. So we're going to still give this some time to finish up. This might take some time and it depends on the size of your website. So you want to give this plugin time to do its magic. So I'll be back when this is over and done. 
All right, good stuff here. So we have this done here in some few minutes, maybe like a minute or two. We have all of this done. And the next thing we want to do here is for us to preview our website. So if you have already created an account with Utaco earlier or maybe before now, it's fine. You can just sign in. But if you have not, you can just create an account. So good stuff. I've been able to fill my details right now. I can just agree to their privacy, privacy and term, and then I can sign up. I'm going to just give this some time to build a preview and show us exactly what we have. All right. So we have a preview ready here now. So you can see, uh, we can scroll down. This is just WordPress website, right? And we have this also for the mobile view. So we can scroll, change this to the mobile view. That's exactly what we have. Isn't this amazing? uh this is super 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 cool and then we can switch between the page this is the page one and this is the page two so you can see the about page here as well so we have some alignment issues here with the menu we might need to play around with that we should have made some changes maybe to that uh inside of figma so you can see this is super super good once you've gone through the website you've seen the preview you like what you see uh you like the conversion everything is okay then you can just go to the continue button here and you have two options here publish to a your hosting with utoka or publish on your own hosting so in case you want to have your wordpress theme you have your own hosting then that's the route to go if you want to publish this with hosting with utoka you don't just want to have a wordpress a theme do you want this theme installed in wordpress i want to just buy hosting from utaco uh the first route is the one to go but for the purpose of this tutorial we want to go the route of just getting the theme and then we can use any hosting or any website or we can give it to our client in our case whatever it is you want to do with it so let's go that route and also utaco gives you the ability for you to be able to publish with your subdomain at uh, first see the preview on the live website and then you can upgrade to use a custom domain uh, you might want to go for that route so now for their pricing plan here you can come down here you will see that a single download costs you 19.9 dollars and just like 20 dollars for you to be able to buy this theme so you can just come here and hit the buy and download and you can also just maybe you are a freelancer you're a developer you need to use this from time to time uh you can go for maybe a design studio that gives you unlimited themes you can have unlimited version of each theme you can have unlimited free hosting you can have three download design once so it means that you can download just three and then you have priority life support so you can go for the 29.9 dollars per month or you can just go for the 49 dollars per month for you to be able to have unlimited downloads per month so it means that you can literally just use this to start creating themes and starting themes is that simple so that's exactly how this works so in case you just want to do one you can just come here with 19.9 dollars you can just easily buy and download this theme and that's it you have a wordpress theme literally from just cloning a random website you can just check out here and you have your theme you can download it and you can install it on any wordpress website how super simple and easy is that we should come back and let's see what we can still do coming back to utaku dashboard here so you can see we have one thing here we can view that you can, you can see here it says that it is ready to publish it's just one version so you can have as many versions as possible you can review it re and you talk is a fantastic tool since earlier i'm not affiliated with them i'm just uh showing you what has worked for me uh, let's come back to uh details so right here we can download this thing like i showed you earlier and then you can publish this on their hosting so let's go this route let's see exactly what we have so you can see here that you have the option to host from 2.49 per month so but you can do this right now for free so if you hit this deploy right now you can see we are preparing your server so they will give you a server where you can have your website live on one of your maybe custom subdomain that also can be an option for you temporarily so i'm gonna give this some time to finish up 
and you can see here hosting information google cloud you can imagine if it's google cloud so you can see your ram is just one gigabyte your hdd is just one gigabyte you can just see the details of the resources you have and also additional hosting information and then you may just want to open your website so you can see you have this subdomain here 407d1.com and then you have your website here isn't this super amazing this thing here will be customizable with wordpress gutenberg it is as good as that so if you go back here we can just come to our wordpress dashboard let's see exactly what it is like at the back end of this wordpress website good stuff so we have our wordpress dashboard here and isn't this amazing so this is our wordpress website here ready to go and you can just come to your pages come to all pages so you can see that we have our pages here this is the front page here and this is the about page here and these are the two default pages with WordPress so you can easily edit this page uh, let's just edit this in a new tab and let's see what we have good stuff so we have uh, Gutenberg open here so we can come down here and then we can easily just change text here change everything you want to change here inside of gutenberg like this literally works well with gutenberg this is an image here you can replace this image you can change text you can do whatever you want to do with this i highly recommend that you check out your taco and you give it a try so that's it uh you can experiment and you can let me know your experience in the comment section look out for them that's my time for this tutorial if you find value for your time give me a thumbs up uh, you can also let me know your experience like i said earlier in the comment section i'll look out for them and that's it subscribe to see more awesome tutorials like this from me uh, that's what i do here i just upload cool and awesome contents like this that's my time i'll see you in another one and until then stay safe